Coming up, rumors are out there that Rich Paul would be open to Anthony Davis signing with the Knicks next summer if the Lakers underachieved this season. We'll take a look at that story on today's Lakers report. Then, NBA schedule is officially out. We look at some key games for the Lakers, including some revenge games with the Pelicans and key Western Conference games with the Clippers and the Warriors. And later in the show, the Lakers have filled their final roster spot for their 2019 training camp. I'm Hannah Kulik, your host of Lakers Report from Chat Sports, starting right now. Welcome to Lakers Report by Chat Sports, all things Lakers. I'm your host, Hannah Kulik, aka Laker Hand. Now, we are sponsored here today by FanDuel, and if you have never played FanDuel before, then I want to invite you to join my new NFL league. So message me right now on my Instagram, at Hannah Rose Kulik, and my Twitter, at Hannah underscore Kulik, so I can send you the information on how to join my new league. I want to play with all of my fellow Laker fans, so please go message me right now if you have never played FanDuel and if you are interested in joining my NFL League. But let's get into some of our breaking news and our top stories for our Los Angeles Lakers today. Starting with our first story here today, we have is Anthony Davis on his way to the New York Knicks. Now, according to Mark Berman of the New York Post, apparently the Knicks are actually a possible landing spot for AD next summer during free agency if for some reason the Lakers underperform. And apparently, according to this article, Rich Paul is all for this. Now, I don't necessarily agree with this. I think it's a little bit too early to see Anthony Davis leaving next season, especially because I'm pretty darn sure he's just going to end up re-signing with the Lakers. I don't really think he's going to leave the purple and gold. I think he's wanted to be here for a really long time and he's finally here. But if for some reason the Lakers do highly underperform next season, then maybe he will end up a New York Nick. I think that this is just a story that has been put out there that Rich Paul is all for this just to kind of pressure the Lakers to try to perform and to really focus on building their roster and really play at a high level this season. I don't know if I necessarily think this is true. I think AD is a Laker and I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think he's going to be a Laker for the rest of his career. Let's move on to our second story here today because the NBA officially released their season schedule and I for one am so excited. I predicted this right when I said that the Lakers were going to be kicking off their season playing against the Clippers and that is exactly what's going to happen. October 22nd the Lakers are going to be playing. Technically it is a Clipper home game but we all know here in LA the Lake Show runs LA so it's going to feel a lot like a Laker home game. Now the Lakers also have the most nationally televised games with 43 games. They are just leading the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors are going to have 42 games previewed on national television. The Clippers also have 38 games, which is of course the most nationally televised games they've ever had in their career. Now some noteworthy games that we should pay attention here today for Laker fans. November 13th, the Lakers are going to be hosting the KD list Golden State Warriors. We have November 27th, Anthony Davis is going to be returning to New Orleans when we play against the Pelicans. And then January 3rd, that is when we are going to be seeing the return of Brandon Ingram, Alonzo Ball, and Josh Hart at Staples Center when the Pelicans come and play against LA. Now the Lakers first 10 games, it's actually a pretty easy schedule if you ask me. I think most of those games are pretty winnable. So let's take a look at the Lakers first 10 games. Obviously we kick off starting October 22nd against the Clippers, technically a Clipper home game. I think the Lakers are going to win, especially since Paul George, of course, as we should all know by now, is most likely not going to be playing because he had a double shoulder surgery this summer and he is most most likely going to be missing at least the first six weeks of the season. And after that first game, October 22nd, then we have Friday, October 25th, the Lakers play against the Jazz, the 27th against the Hornets, 29th against the Memphis Grizzlies. November 1st, they are going to be at the Dallas Mavericks, November 3rd at San Antonio Spurs, the 5th at Chicago Bulls, 8th versus the Heat, November 10th versus the Raptors, and then November 12th versus the Suns in Phoenix. So I personally think that is a very easy first 10 game schedule for the Purple and Gold. I think we're going to be able to win a majority of those games. Of course, anything's possible. Of course, it is going to be a little bit of a learning experience for us those first 10 games. So I am grateful that we have somewhat of an easier schedule because we're going to have to have some time to really adjust because we have such a new team, such a different team, obviously a new head coach, a new coaching staff. 
there are definitely going to be a lot of adjustments that are going to need to be made and it's definitely going to take a little bit of time for us to get that chemistry into fully gel so I am thrilled that we have somewhat of an easier kind of opening 10 game schedule for the Lakers this season but I am curious are any of you guys planning on going to any of those first 10 games I know I definitely am are any of you guys just planning in general to go to some Laker games this season I know I'm going to try to go to as many as possible especially now that the season is out I am just getting extremely extremely excited now let's move on and talk about our newest Lakers signing and what this means for our roster is our roster officially full but before we do I need to make sure that you guys are subscribed down below here on chat sports and the new chat sports Lakers YouTube channel so that you do not miss a single second of all things Lakers now let's talk about the latest Lakers signing because the Lakers announced that they have officially signed Demetrius Jackson to an exhibit a contract now Demetrius Jackson was the 45th overall pick in the 2016 NBA draft last season for Philadelphia he played six games for them he averaged about three points only about six and a half minutes but in the G league he really did play well he averaged about 19 points per game seven assists we even had some rebounds some steals so he did play very well for them in the G League but an exhibit a contract I think a lot of people are now freaking out and they're thinking oh my gosh the Lakers now have their entire roster what's gonna happen to Iggy but Carmelo what's going on but all an exhibit a contract means is that he is going to be able to come and try out for us during training camp and it's definitely a possibility that if he impresses us he could make the team or if not he's just going to be getting a bonus and playing for us in our G League team so but I'm not necessarily sure if he is going to be able to have what it takes to fully make our roster by training camp but at the end of the day if he doesn't he's just gonna come and join us on our G League team but I guess that means you guys that our roster leading up to training camp is officially full so let's pull up our full roster leading up to training camp because it's looking pretty deep obviously this last signing was a little bit of a letdown I think a lot of people were thinking maybe it was gonna be Iguodala or Carmelo Anthony but those guys could still possibly find their way on the purple and gold. You never know what happens with the Lakers, you guys. But let's take a look at some of the guys that we do have on our roster right now. Obviously, you know our top guys. We have our LeBron James. We have Anthony Davis, Kyle Kuzma. We have DeMarcus Cousins. We have Rajon Rondo. Quinn Cook, Avery Bradley, Danny Green, Troy Daniels, JaVale McGee, KCP. We have that Talon Horton Tucker guy that we just drafted. So we are looking like we have a very nice, well-rounded roster. It's definitely going to be exciting. A lot of players could step up. We could really see a lot of different things happen, especially with our starting point guard and those guards. We are very guard heavy. So I'm curious to see who's going to step up and earn those major minutes at the guard positions. But I am curious, who do you guys think is going to be the Lakers leading scorer on this team. I personally think it's going to be Anthony Davis, but I'm curious to what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments here below. Now our last thing we have to talk about here today on Lakers Report, we have Anthony Davis and LeBron James having the fourth and fifth best odds at winning the NBA MVP. According to my bookie, they have the Greek freak leading the way coming in number one. Then they have Steph Curry, James Harden, then LeBron and Anthony Davis. So do you guys think think Anthony Davis and or LeBron who do you guys think out of all of those five players is going to be the real NBA MVP I personally think it's going to be someone from the Lake Show you guys but I'm curious who do you think and if you want to take a bet at LeBron or Anthony Davis winning that MVP or just the Lakers winning the NBA championship in general go message me right now on my Twitter and or my Instagram because I will tell you all about how you can win not only some money but also how you can also win a free jersey if you want to start a my bookie account play some bets win some money and get a free jersey we have an awesome promo going on with them right now I'm really grateful but able to give away a ton of jerseys so if you want to bet on our Los Angeles Lakers or any of our Lakers players this season winning MVP go ahead and message me right now so you can get a free jersey out of it as well now that is going to be it for today's lakers report rumors roundup thank you guys so much for watching i want to remind you again to please subscribe here to the new lakers chat sports youtube channel and of course just subscribe to us here on chat sports and also give me a follow on instagram at hannah rose hulick and my twitter at hannah underscore hulick for all things lakers and of course some fitness as well thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and until next time laker hand is out bye guys